2021 was similar to 2020 in terms of volumes, driver numbers, you know, mixer truck numbers, those type of things. There's really a lot of work out there, but we don't anticipate, you know, a huge reduction in the number of hours we'll work, the amount of concrete we will deliver. We don't see a huge dip there. You hear some people say, well, you know, people are going to go back into the offices at some point and based on social distancing requirements, some of those type of things, those could stay with us long after the virus. So does that increase the demand for actual space needed and, and force owners to look at how they're building projects that could increase the amount of building material products needed on those projects? And just where that falls on the spectrum, I think will determine a lot of the next couple of years for the private market uh, in terms of building material products. Well, I know in 2021, a lot of customers don't have the backlog, especially because a lot of those jobs, the bid process got pushed and a lot of agencies just don't have the money that they did in 2020. So Granite Rock went out and surveyed all the customers from the Bay Area all the way down to Monterey County. We took those numbers, what they said they were gonna spend in 2020 and what they're gonna spend in 2021. And it looks to be about a 30% less funding for transportation and those kinds of projects next year versus this year. Now, Caltrans is saying there's a lot of projects that they're gonna be able to fund. We just haven't seen those yet on the bid list. Pricing, there's there's price pressure in the market. More contractors competing for less jobs. The same thing in the hot mix market and recycle. And so our plan next year is we're gonna be more aggressive in certain segments of the market to ensure that you know, our customers aren't going somewhere else for material supply. They're gonna stay with us. One of the really interesting changes you talk about market dynamics in challenging times like this is the golf course industry. So we supply golf course sand. That is one of the few things you can get out and do outdoors right now. Today, it's about two weeks to get a tee time on a golf course. Even the private clubs we supply up in the Bay Area in San Francisco, they say their members are booking out weeks in advance. Every tee time is full. So this is a really, really great time for the golf course industry, which is helping us supplying golf course sand to those businesses. So there are some silver linings to this. 2021 is gonna be the time for us to stand up and do something truly exceptional. The premium sand plant, which is gonna be coming online in 2021, that premium sand plant is designed around the ability to deliver very specific sand gradations where people want to deliver a very specific engineering outcome. They need to have a very specific aggregate size and gradation to do that. And some of those Google projects and those kind of things are still going on. And then you get out of the Bay Area and the housing market is just going strong as can be. We've got jobs where they're asking the contractor to accelerate. They need the houses on the market to sell. So the housing market in Hollister, Gilroy, Morgan Hill, Salinas and South has been really strong. I mean, there's literally thousands of homes being built in the Hollister area right now. I think that the ability for Granite Rock to leverage our unified approach of aggregates, transportation, and rail has a lot of opportunity going into 2021. Our customers will be able to feel the benefit of a coordinated effort, right? So when they ask for rock, they will be able to get the rock and the trucking delivered to their job site through a singular point of contact that they can go and reach out to if they have issue and also go and reach out to and thank when we do a great job. They don't need to rely on second party and third party people, they can rely on us.